formulas in Google Sheets can be used not only to multiply numbers or to select text or to combine things like that. They can also be used to do some basic formatting. And what's really nice about this is you can use these conditional formats, which are formula based formats, to highlight data, bring your attention, for instance, to things that are performing very well, very poorly, issues that need to be resolved. I use them frequently to help me find open cases. And let me just show you quickly how this works. Start by selecting the text that you want to format. So for instance, I'm going to come here to teacher. Now, this is something I could do easily on my own, but if you had a very long list, you wouldn't want to do this manually. Let's highlight a particular teacher. And so what I do is I select this text and then I come over to format and down to conditional formatting. That's going to open up a little window here on the side and it's going to apply to this range C3 through C9. That's the range I have selected here. And we're going to tell it, well, right now it says cell is not empty. Well, they all have stuff in them. I'm going to say instead that the text contains, and then I'm going to put the name of one of the teachers, Emmanuel. We have Kofi, Alex, and Emmanuel. And then I'm just going to leave this default. I can change the color if I want by clicking on one of these. I don't need to. I'm going to hit done. And now, if Emmanuel's name pops up as the teacher, then it automatically gets highlighted. And if I were to change one of the other cells to say Emmanuel, it would automatically inherit that. In fact, let's do that right here. Let's change this one to say, I got to spell it correctly, Emmanuel. You see, it inherits the conditional formatting. Next, is what if I want to highlight not just that person's name, but the entire row that they're in? This is actually what I use. I use a spreadsheet as a large database for assigning teachers to classes. And when a class isn't assigned, it says staff, but I want the whole row to highlight. And so I'm going to select this entire rectangle of data. So not just the teacher, but also the attendance and the dates. I'm going to get the whole bit of information. Then I'm going to come over to conditional formatting and I'm going to add a new rule. And the rule I'm going to add is a slightly funny one. You may not guess this one. I actually have to come down here to custom formula. And what I want to tell it to do is if the teacher is a manual, then highlight the entire row. And it goes counterintuitively like this. I write equals and then the dollar sign C to say always look at column C and then 13 is there because that's the first row in the block and then if that cell is equal to a manual and because it's text I have to put it in quotes then highlight it and so that's what we've got right here I hit done and you see how it's highlighted and again if we were to change another name to Emmanuel you see how the entire row inherits that highlighting. And again, this is really useful for identifying important clients. It's for identifying unassigned cases. It's uh, useful for identifying any number of situations that you can describe with a formula. And then finally, another good one is what's called a color scale. I'm going to come over here where I have the information again. I'm going to select just the attendance information. And I'm going to select a new rule here. Now, not a single color, which is what I've been doing so far, but a color scale. And what this does is it lets me choose a range of colors that go from the minimum value through the midpoint up to the maximum. Now, I don't want the green to be the low one. I'm going to switch it the other way around. I've got some choices here. I'm going to pick this one. So it goes from white to green. And it highlights the higher values. I'm going to hit done. And what you can see now is that the darkest green is on the day that we had 31 people. The white is for the lowest value, which in this set is 12. And so it can give you an impression of the range of the data. And again, maybe things you need to focus on. Maybe you need to figure out what's going on the low days. Maybe you need to figure out what you can do to increase the high days. But conditional formatting in any of these situations with the color scale, 
with highlighting a single cell, with highlighting an entire row, is a way of using formulas, again, not just to manipulate numbers or to manipulate text, but to manipulate the highlighting and drawing attention through additional visual cues. And it makes it a lot easier to work with your data and find the things that you need to make sense.